Hey guys, so episode 3 of Darren's Game came out um, a couple of days ago and I watched it uh, yesterday and it was actually a really good episode to be honest. I wanted a little bit more action but I get, I like how Kaname has now found the analyst, um, so that's really good, I'm happy with that um, because, well... You can see in the openings that they've they've got that group um, with Kaname. So obviously in episode two, they're going to build a guild. And in the openings, you can see that they have the group of people walking with Kaname. So you can tell that she's going to be a part of that guild. And now they meet up, which is cool. Because the analyst is actually really smart. And so is Kaname. Whenever he thinks... Whenever he's in the zone of thinking of the situation he's in, he always makes the right decisions, which is crazy to think about because whenever he's in them sort of fights, he's n he's not ready for it. He's like, he's like a normal person, anyone that isn't willing to kill someone else and stuff like that. He's not that sort of character that... When they're, when they're put into that situation, they're going to do it. Because that's the best option. He always tries to think of something else. Or he doesn't think at all, at all when he's in that situation. Um, so I think that's really good to see. Um, to actually not have a character that's just going to go out of his way and simply do what you want them to do, if you know what I mean. Like, they're put into the situation to kill someone... They get out of the sticky situation of them killing, and then they kill them, if you know what I mean. Um, so it's kind of, I like it, I like the idea. Um, obviously, it's probably in some of animes as well that do that. But the way that they've done this, and now they're in an, an event, um, the way he got out of the situation was giving the ring away. So one less ring for him, when you have to have three... And the other guy already had one or two. So that's pretty crazy. And to think that um, the guy would have killed him anyway. But then he gets these lucky situations as well. Kaname gets the lucky situations as well. Of... The gun was jammed. The guy... The banda... Banda? Yeah. The Banda character in the first episode got hit by the car. Then he meets up with the analyst next in the event. So there's so many situations where he just gets really lucky. So maybe that's part of his sigil as well. Is that the game wants him to stay alive. We don't know why, but the game wants him to stay alive, which is why he's getting put in these lucky situations. And then his sigil is unknown to everyone. Even the analyst doesn't know it properly. So it's pretty crazy to think about. Um, what else really happened in this episode was... Pretty much Shuka... Um, just kills everyone, basically. She's the top player. She has ten rings, I think that they said. And they have spectators watching the event happening. Which... You could tell and kind of see that that would happen. All the, the top high level rich people in the world probably created that game. Or they want to get involved in the game by spectating it and do bets and stuff like that. Which is a cool way to think about if someone did that in the real world. But yeah. So it's pretty crazy. And we also meet the character where... I can't remember her name, but she's come in, and I think she's, like, part of the game's CEOs, or a member of the game's, uh, like, development. Um, but there's nothing too much that's given away for it yet, but she really supports Shuka, or the Undefeated Queen. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's also another character that came up. So pretty much this episode was just... Kind of meeting the analyst, then probably filling up with a guild, 
and going through the event. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on this episode. Um, if you did enjoy the episode, uh, p please comment down below what you thought of it, because uh, I'd really like to know. Also, leave a like if you did enjoy this uh, episode and video. Also, subscribe if you do enjoy the content on this channel, because there's only more to come. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next review of Darwin's Game. <laughs>